Welcome to episode number 90 and this is Raw. 91 I mean Raw. That's cool. I've been the Intercontinental Champion for a massively sick, accurately one month, and I got screwed by Zami Zayn in a TLC match. Why the freak did you make me go to TLC, um, Shane McMahon, when you know I was going to lose? <coughs> because you know TLC is a rematch of rank for a cruiserweight, and you know Zami Zayn is a me, and he kicks the shit out of me and being cheap as possible. Then I went into a goddamn triple threat with Brandon, no, not Brandon Collins, um, Cole Quinn and Grinch. And look, I lost again. So I'm no longer in that Intercontinental title picture no more. And guess what? I want to get back on top of the world. If I can't be champion, I can't pay my bills up home. If I can't pay my bills, my wife or my and my kids will leave me. And I can't do that. When I'm champion, I get double the pay rise. I need this living. I need to be champion to pay my bills, to put food on my plate for my wife and kids. But no, Shane, you gotta be a pain in my ass and not make me become the next champion. So guess what? If I have to turn hell on my tag team partner to become the hardcore champion, I will. Because I need to become champion to pay, to live. To feed, but the only one I need to go up against is someone who I've never faced before, or put me up against Grim for his Intercontinental Title Number One contendership. But no, you won't do that. You won't do that because Grim is up in against the champion today. That's why you won't able to let me do that. But I'll wait till next week for my decision. If Grim's the champion, I want him in a one-on-one -on -one for the Air Canal Championship. Wow. Jordan Styles, ladies and gentlemen, all my days. And here comes the Hardcore Championship match. Tatasso Champa versus Kai Jones. Kai Jones is the first ever person to hold this newly yellow strap. But, what to test of Beat Kai Jones to become the next hardcore champion.
Here comes the Toaster Champa. But now I'm just going to call him Champa because his first name I can't really pronounce properly. And here he comes. Champa. And here comes the hardcore champion. Walking down proudly as the hardcore champion. And then nice knee digging down Kai Jones now. <laughs> and Champa. It's on a roll. Oh, the path of become hardcore champion. Donald for Roper. Lot pin for coming to the next champion. One. Oh. Roll up. One. Kick out. Oh, a nice kick. Ross knee. What's Champa doing? <coughs> and a nice suplex. Now picking up Champa. I mean, um, Kajay's nice reversal with a forearm. Just put him over the ropes now. But nice reversal from Champa. Nice putting him back in the ring now. <clears throat> Suplex! Taking down Kai Jones. Reverse into the Gary. On the knee. A nice reversal. Now working on the head. <clears throat> now pick up Kaijin yet again. Reversal. Now going big ball. Heavy strikes. Ooh. Champa now. What do you think he's going to do? Ooh. Never know what's in the mind of Champa. And up. Pele kick to Kai Jones. Lion Moonsault. 
Ati to the back. Anna KJ619. Hitting Champa right in his face. And the knees go up. Right in the ribs of Kai Jones. And a nice hammer through. Going for the pin now. <clears throat> One, two, kick out by Kai. Justin and Nick Armour kicking out. And a nice bat breaker. Now going for the cover. One, two, kick out of two again. This is Kai's first, no, second uh, match. He's actually have to try against. Because remember, if he went up against Pete Dunne to win the championship, and that was literally, he would almost lost against Pete Dunne. Then he went up against Goldberg and destroyed Goldberg in 30 seconds, but now he has to go up against Champa. It was a little bit more harder to face. Champa and I'm reversed. Count three. Rolling Kai Jones back in the ring. Now Kai. Oh, Champ is going to top now. Oh, and he missed. And a schoolboy roll up for the championship. One, two, kick out. Just on the nick of time. Now what Kai James thinking? Pin champ up top. Knee. Knee to the face. Now what's Champa doing? He's got up top now. Oh! It's going back over that knee but missed. RKO! <laughs> And kicked out one. Now, knee to the face. And another one. And one for luck. Oh, now is Jones thinking. Or Kai Jones, as I say. Oh, he got reversed. And, oh my god, going for the cover, for the championship, one, two, th oh my god, two and a half, we almost had a new hardcore champion right there, but this time, he's going to do for a dirty spin, one, two, oh, not even a one, knee to the face, Now he's just trying to wear down Kai. Nice reversal. Now, now Champa's on the ropes. Oh my god. Do you see what he's doing? Holy shit. He's mucking through Champa now. Another RKO. Now working on the ribs of Champ now. Oh, and a nice double knee to the back. Now going to the rope. Oh, I mean, time buckle. Busting him open. And now Champ is on fire. Ooh. Another spinning uh, clothesline. Going for the cover now. For the hardcore championship. One, two, K. 
kick out by Kai Jones. Oh my god. And now picking him up for the backbreaker. This is it for the hardcore championship. What a grueling match. <clears throat> Going for the cover now for the last time, hopefully. One, two, three, and Champa is your new hardcore champion. What a match that was going to be. Is Champa going to walk up to the pay-per-view called Survivor Series as Hardcore Champion? Well, we will may see in the main future because we've got three more weeks to go. It's Cole Quinn versus Kevin Owens for the Universal Championship. But the main question is though, who's going to face one of these two next week? Again, will it be Pete Dunne or Walter because it's a one on one later on? For the number one contender for the Universal Championship, he's going to face Kevin Owens or Cole Quinn for the Universal title. We're about to find out who's going to be the champion, and later on, we're going to find out who are they going to face. And here comes the challenger, Cole Quinn. He went up in a hell of a number one contendership. To try and get into the inner final title picture, but the GM said you did up against Graham and Gold Styles. You're gonna try and get a world heavyweight title picture against the Universal Champion Cole, no Kevin Owens. And this is why tonight we're gonna see this match. If Cole Quinn able to become Universal Champion, he would have won his first ever main roster title. Because when we ha used to have NXT, Cole Quinn is a former North American champion and NXT champion. And I think he used to be a United Kingdom champion too, but I'm not quite a remember. I think he's a Grand Slam in NXT. Him and Brandon, um, whatever his bloody name is, he they used to be a tag team. We might reunite that tag team very, very soon. <clears throat> And here comes the newly, no, oh, the newish Universal Champion who won it two weeks ago at the TLC pay-per-view. That was two weeks ago. Now Kevin Owens is half the face Cole Quinn for his Universal title. Kevin Owens is a former Universal Champion 
Intercontinental Champion and Tag Team Champion. He's done it all in Raw. But he may be going down to SmackDown after WrestleMania. And his tag team partner, think, is a one at the moment is a, a former tag team champion and a current Intercontinental Champion. Now the match is Cole Quinn versus Kevin Owens. But Kevin Owens reverse. And a clothesline on Cole Quinn up against the Universal Champion. Weight difference is incredibly different. A nice takedown. The pressuring. Oh! And a nice drop kick. Yeah, I won't forget. Oh, a reversal from Cole Quinn. Now picking up Cole Quinn. But oh, Cole Quinn says no with a nice eye right. Oh, a reversal. And a nice knee. And a super kick. Okay, man, there's no. And a spinning. Power bomb taking down Cole Quinn, but Cole Quinn gets back up with a clothesline. Reverse super kick. Trying to go for a power driver. Reverse into the clothesline. Cole Quinn is going for everything and a spinning forearm to take down Kevin Owens. Now Cole Quinn, middle rope, double knees. Now picking up Kevin Owens. And a spinning. Oh, reversed. And a power bomb taking down Cole Quinn. One. Kick out. Out one. Oh my god. Cole Quinn is doing everything to in. Now work on the neck. Now he gets them back up. Now Cole Quinn is now hyped. Shit. Hyped up. Oh, he missed. And a nice Falcon's Hour. Going for the cover now. And a nice kick out by Cole Quinn. Now going for a submission rope break. Cannibal. And off. Take down. A nice forearm. Kevin yeah, Owens now just figured out Cole Quinn is not easy to beat. That's why he was so defeated in NFC and a nice knee to his midsection. Cole Quinn is giving it all right now. If you rem just imagine if Cole Quinn would have won the normal contendership, he would have faced Sami Zayn, but no. One, two, three. Kevin Owens retains.
It looks like um, Cole Quinn is not ready yet for a world title match. Owens is absolutely fuming after what Shingler Man did. He does not deserve that title. And here comes Zami Zayn's turn to defend his Intercontinental Championship. His tag partner Kevin Owens just retains. Oh, does that mean he's to retain? We had one title change so far. And here comes the challenger. Grim. Grim is a former Intercontinental Champion. Tag Team Champion. All Grim needs to do now is try and win the Inter um, Intercontinental. All Grim needs to do now is win the Uni Universal Championship to become a grand half of a Grand Slam. Then he has to go to SmackDown with the United States. Then it would have been a Grand Slam. It would be a Supreme Grand Slam. He has to win all of them. When every touch, had to win the SmackDown World Title, then the SmackDown Tag Team Titles. To become a supreme grand slam. There is Grim. Here comes Zami Day. And here we go again on an old And a nice elbow barge from Graham. Does Russell knee? And a uh, reversal forearm by Graham. And over he goes. 
Grim is not going to go easy on Zami Zayn. And Zami Zayn is not going to go easy on Grim either. Oh my god, a nice hip toss. Grim did botch a mania for a second. And another one of them. Nice, over the top. What's Grim gonna? What's Zami Zayn doing? Oh my god! He slammed him on the hardest part of the ring. Now Zami Zayn putting Grim back in the ring now. The number one contender up against the Intercontinental Champion right now. Grim is not doing so well. Oh my god, a backbreaker! And the Grimm's ending. Picking him up. There is the Grimm's ending. I said the wrong one, the wrong move for home. Two. Home is a new Intercontinental Champion, but the champ kicked out. Sami Zayn is now irritated. Now Graham's back on the rope. Oh, Sami Zayn rushes again. Flinging him over the top rope. Graham able to roll out of the way. Rolling Graham, uh, Zami back in. A nice takedown, trying to take down Rim. And a nice Falcon suplex right there. Who's this? Okay, it was Papa Chango. Kick. Go for the cover now. One, two, three, and the new Intercontinental Champion. We have two new title changes. We had Champa, the new hardcore champion. Kevin Owens retained the Universal Championship. And Grimm is the new Intercontinental mm. Champion. Mm. 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 What's up next? Oh, it's the number one contendership match for the Universal Championship. It's Walter versus Pete Dunne.
And here comes the debut of Walter. Walter is facing the first ever hardcore champion. He got made history. And here he is. Here we go to find out who's going to be the number one contender for the Universal title. Oh! Nice block. Pete Dunn is not doing very well against Walter right now. Just kicking Pete Dunn in the back. And here we go, Pete Dunn with the netbreaker stunner. Trying to do the boot. But Walter is just on Pete. A clothesline. Go for the cover now for one kick out. Pete Dunga for a roll up pin. Go for the pin for number one. One, two. Oh, he kicks out. <laughs> Close line. Oh my god! 
They just remembers me from NXT New York. I was yes, yesterday I believe, two days ago when Pete Dunne lost against Walter for the United Kingdom Championship. But this time they're doing it in my show. And now Walter is getting a bit stunned now. A nice form just taking him down the notch. He done is finally fighting back. Oh, maybe not. Spinning him down. Oh my God. He done got a bit of. What's Pete Dunne doing? And a suplex! Now Pete Dunne. Go for it! His signature move! Go for the cover! One! Two! Kick out! Pete Dunne almost had that! He's going for his finishing move! Bitter end! Go for the cover now! One! Two! Kick out! And now Walter is just back to his destruction again! Working on the neck! Go for the cover of Pete Dunne! One! Two and Pete Dunn just able to kick out. <clears throat> now slowly pick it. Pete Dunn now. But Pete Dunn reverses him. Oh my god, Pete Dunn is on fire. Oh this up oh a nice Pele kick. And a clothesline. Now working on Pete Dunn's head. Now what? Hold up. Thinking. He don't can't even get a single move on him at the moment because Walter's always one step ahead of Pete Dunn. The hell is this? <clears throat> and he's working on Pete Dunn right now. Now he's going for a cover. One, two, and Pete Dunn able to kick out of that. Anna, star, Anna power driver. I'm going for a cover to Pete. One, two, and Walter pins Pete Dunn. So it's going to be Walter versus Kevin Owens next week. <coughs> Pete Dunne was not happy about that loss. Now it's for the Royal Women's Championship.
going to be Tassa Belanchi versus Mickey James. Contessa Blanche or Blanchard, whatever you want to bloody pronounce it. Yeah, uh, the new hardcore champion, Kevin is still universal champion, Grim, the new Intercontinental champion, Walter, the new Intercontinental, no, new number one contender for the universal championship, now, we have to find out if Mickey James will retain, oh, well, this would, Balenci girl going to become the new women's champion. And here comes the current women's champion. Here we go. And a nice drop kick. A nice start from Tata. Now what's she going for? Face fast down to the ring mat. Nice little kick. Forearm reverse. Oh, a nice take down now pick it up Desi a nice kick forearm now picking up and what's you going for a suplex And a nice drop kick taking down the women's champion. Mickey James has not got that much fight into her today for some reason. But DDT goes down Tassie. Now Mickey James is fighting back. A nice forearm to take down Mickey James. <coughs> But reverse and a night brutal, I mean, head neck. Now, 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 pin one. Kick out by Mickey James. A schoolboy roll up for the women's championship. One. Kick out one again. And why is Bailey coming out? A 
on a DDT! Taking down Tessie right now. Go with her one, two, kick out. That distraction for Mickey James didn't work. But now Mickey James has an up the hand, up behind me. But now Tessie's now getting back up to her feet. Now hitting the midsection. The power of Tessie Blanchard. What is your... And now the elbow. And a DDT. Going for the cover. One for the Women's Championship. Kick out. Almost a new Raw Women's Champion right there. Oh, I was seeing it. But what is she going for now? I said mission. Now Tessie Bangard is going up top of the turnbuckle. But she missed. Go for a roll up? Nope. Nice spin kick. Su snap suplex. Now she's now Tessie Blanchard is going back up top now. Reverse sent on. And now we're going for a roll up pin. Now for the women's championship one. Kick out. Reverse spin forearm. British Bulldog! Going for the cover now. One. Kick out of one. Picking her up. Taking her back down. Now Mickey James reversed. Now take it down with a foul because I are. You sure it's up here? Yes, sir. And now she's up top with a double knee. <clears throat> Monkey flip. Drop kick to the back. And she's going for the DDT for the cover. Hopefully she wins the championship at this one. One, two, three, new Royal Women's in. Tessie Blanchard is your new Raw Women's Champion. Three new champions. One retained so far.
Oh, here comes a promo for Dolph Ziggler. And here comes Dolph Ziggler coming out for a promo. <coughs> we have our first ever main event coming up later. I think it's up next really, but our first tag team main event for the tag titles. Cut the music. I have another second to confront my demons. I might just snap. Let me just clarify that for a moment. These demons are not with me in me. I just, man, I mean, sure, I've got problems going in my head. No, 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 no. The demons are confronting tonight are more vile. These demons will... Well, this demon has been pestering me for the last few weeks. Someone in the back has pissing me off every week he's came here and we, he wins or lose you all cheer him it's driving me nuts we're not going to wait next week we're going to wait until next big event we're here right now Tom knows the champ but get out here Oh, he's calling out the hardcore champion. The new hardcore champion. Here he is. Just when I thought Dade couldn't get worse, but did I travel all the way here stinking? Hongding City just to listen he speak like hell I'm gonna let it happen not having anything to say about it and believe I have plenty to say about it you can come out here spill whatever garbage you want everyone here wants to know Syria Super Superstar and if I don't shut the pie hole I'll be happy to remind you Everyone here should boo, bow down, and bathe in my glory. I'm worth more than any of you will ever be. But I buy the best clothes, drink the best wine, and eat the finest foods. None of you will ever have that. I'm worthy to get that all when I want it. Mm. Yet, with all the money, you still can't afford an idiot of awareness. These people don't like you or care about you. They'd rather watch you eat crow than the finest foods. Tell, tell you what, allow me to be your humble servant and help you with that. I'm tired of seeing your face on the monitors and in person is annoying me. No longer wants to see you in here. The WWE is time you take a parent vacation and... I'll be your travel agent. So I'll set you up a nice cozy bed and the nearest hospital when you can foster and watch me reign as hardcore champion. Hey now, I can see that, Axios. I like your passion, but tonight not a good fight. Not a good night for me to do this. I want a challenge you and you're just not a challenge at this time. You're already 
for a superstar like me, and I'm not care. It would be too goddamn easy. Your sorry, don't put on a good show. That's all it really is. You can fool these idiots, but that's not really saying much. You can fool the WWE universe, but I can't. You can't fool me. I know you're just t trying to talk your way out of this, but these no escape from what I have planned for you. Look, I already spent enough time already, more than I ever wanted to. The little things here is all is over, it's done, move on. Go interrupt someone else's interview or troll them on social media until they fight you or something. I can't wait to ask management for the match against you. Nothing will please me more than using a 10% of my ability top m mop the floor with. That's right. That's all I'm going to need to defeat someone like you because you never have the skill or talent even compliment compared to me. Wow. So I'm guessing it's confirmed. It's going to be Tommaso Ciampa versus Dolph Ziggler for the Hardcore Championship. Because the Hardcore title is always 24-7. So always up. And here comes the main event. The B team versus this tag team right here. The B team. former Raw Tag Team Champions, just remember that from our around Extreme Rules, that's almost a year ago they were Tag Team Champions. Ten months ago this was. <laughs> and the B Team and the Shield have been feuding for almost the whole time. <clears throat> this is the first ever tag team main event. We never had a tag team main event before.
Alright. Is that for us? We're trying to go for a ring drop kick. But it's not gonna happen. Nice. Reversal. Bakara's Axel. Ain't letting it happen today. What the fuck? Now picking up. Running ropes. Yeah? You alright? Yeah, I'm good. the um, thing, a cable to connect to my Xbox, and then I'll initially take two minutes. Are you... What a catch. Alright, let's see in a bit, alright? Yeah. I'll give you back to you in a Alright. Now Carl's Axel! Oh my god. Got up for all up. One kick out. Oh. I'll go for a submission. Kick out of that easily. Now he's tagging him both out. Oh, nice clothesline. The arrows are reversed. Next week. Four. And a nice score, boy. Super kick. Go for the cover now. One. Ah. Now pick it up, Steph Rollins. Go for that tag team finish. Able to get out of it. <clears throat> A nice save. I don't even know what that move is called. Dang it. And going for the combat combination. Now, nice reversal from Curris Axel. Nice forearm. Nice 
iced off. Oh my god! Rem caught knee strike. <clears throat> One. Nice reversal now. Boot. Taking him down. Turn around. And he got in. Go for the cover now. For the tag team titles. One. Two. Three. The B team are the new tag team champions. Four new champions. Intercontinental Universe. No, Intercontinental Hardcore Raw Women's and now the Raw Tag Team. Oh my god. Hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and comment. And peace.